Hey guys, so we are in the home stretch of our living room, dining room makeover. And before I move everything back into the room, I wanted to pop on and talk to you guys about curtains a little bit. So I see lots and lots of homes as a realtor every day. And I see a lot of people who are not maximizing their home's potential with curtains. And a lot of people do this, it's okay. Um, I just wanna give you guys a couple of tips to really help make your home shine. So, when you're hanging your curtains, the most common thing that I see is people like to hang them over their window. So right behind me, they would cover portions of their window. And if you guys do that, you're blocking out light and you're in essence making the room feel smaller. If you hang them wide and high, you will maximize your room's height and light, and it'll feel so much bigger and spacious. Um, just a little tip that I learned along the way, um, curtains have evolved a lot in the last several years. For a long time, 84 inch panels were kind of the norm. Um, they were the standard size, and now we're seeing a lot more retailers sell the longer lengths. So 90 to 96 lengths, for your normal height rooms. And they're becoming easier to find and it really does have a powerful impact on a room. So when we did our master bedroom makeover, um, I swapped out our standard 84 inch curtains and I did the 90, I think they're 92. Anyway, <laughs> I hung them and you guys, the room feels so much taller. So um, I had done the same thing in this room before because that was basically all you could find. But now you can find longer ones. So I'm gonna do it in a way that better suits the room and show you guys what kind of impact it has. So I'm going to hang them all the way up as close to the ceiling as I can and wide outside the window. Now I often hear the complaint that people like to use their curtains to block out light at night. Um, Honestly, I think that good light blocking blinds do a much better job than any curtains I've found. So I'm a big fan of hanging blinds that are good and then doing curtains more for decoration. So if that's something you're after, um, we can talk about blinds another time, but we have some really awesome ones in our bedroom that completely block out the, the, the light and I don't use any of my curtains for light blocking at all. So in this particular room, this is living room, dining room, so there's no need to block out the light. Um, we do have blinds on the window, it's hard to tell with the sun shining. Um, but, and we close those at night so people can't see in, but I never ever ever close the curtains in here. So. But another thing you could do if you are after blocking out light in a bedroom and you're scared to hang them too wide because then it doesn't cover enough of your window, just put two more panels on and you should be able to close them all the way. So that's my tip for today and I'm gonna go ahead and hang up the rod and let you guys watch.